Almost 70 years ago, a Rhode Island man died fighting in World War II. Today, that man was finally honored for his service. ABC 6's Chelsea Priest has more. He had written me letters, and all he's saying is going to take me to a Red Sox game. Frank Aldridge remembers reading letters his father sent home to him from World War II. The Red Sox game his father always said they would attend sadly never came to be. Frank's father gave his life 26 at the Battle of the Bulge when Frank was only five years old. You go to the cemetery and I go to the parade, it doesn't get any easier. And uh, especially when I go to a uh, game and they play the national anthem, his, he, he comes to me and is uh, my mind, you know, my memory. Up until a few months ago, Frank didn't know too much about his father's time in the war or that he had military honors that should have been awarded to him. While talking with some friends over coffee, one thing led to another, and they offered to help their friend that they call Lefty find out more details. It was like a, a story unfolding for Lefty. I mean, like, it really was. I mean, some of the uh, uh, documents that were there for his dad. This morning, the hard work paid off. Frank finally received the awards for his father, almost 68 years later. Congressman Langevin presented the Purple Heart along with five other medals. Something I never thought of or even dreamt of down the road, but it's, it's great just to know that he, he was on in a special way. It makes me more proud of him. Frank said these awards and what he learned about his father will help bring him some closure. In Warwick, Chelsea Priest, ABC 6 News. Almost